Hello and welcome to another edition of Cranky Gun Reviews. This is part three, count them number three, in my series on uh, 410 commercial slug testing. This particular day I decided that I wanted to try doing a water drop test. And if you're not familiar with a water drop test, you can go back and look at some of Tau Flater Mouse's older videos. He actually takes a column of water in some type of a clear container drop the slug in the top and watch the path that it takes as it drops down. You can kind of get an idea on how they're gonna react in air. The challenge with doing this is I only have such a, a certain height column um, and my camera is only rated for like 240 frames per second. So when I did this test, I had about a 14 inch tall container that I had filled up with water. I set it up on my counter with a white background and one by one, I dropped the slugs in exactly the same throughout the entire test. So I basically put the slug about a quarter of an inch above the top of the water column, dropped it in and watched the path. And the results were pretty different than what I actually expected. There was only really two slugs that did really well in this test, and that was the Brennicky three inch Magnum, which was a quarter ounce slug with that collapsing um, kind of power piston on the back. And then also the quarter ounce three inch Winchester Super X did pretty well. Some of the other ones like the Sterling and the Federal and the two BPS slugs did horrible. When you see them, you'll actually see them waggle all over the place. The um, Federal slug actually turned around backwards and all the air came out of it. So that one was actually tumbling through the water. The funny thing is they all look pretty similar. I mean, like the BPS slugs, the Winchester Super X, the Federal and the Herder slug were all very similar in design and weight. Uh, they all had a pretty deep cavity. They looked similar with the same type of fluting on them or the same type of rifling on them, but they all performed very differently. So while this test is not 100% scientific, it does give you some level and understanding on how the slugs are going to react as they fly through air. And I've been talking to Justin from Buckeye Ballistics back and forth. We've been chatting back and forth. And the funny thing is, is the results of this test are not really the same as what he's seen in the field in doing his testing. And the only thing I can really deduce from this is there may be some slugs that are really only rated for 30 or 40 yards and the slugs that go out to a longer distance that actually travel straighter either have more velocity, more weight, or they go, trans, they go from transonic to subsonic and when they go to subsonic they straighten out a little bit. So again, this wasn't really a perfectly scientific test that doesn't prove anything necessarily but it's still a fun test to do and it still can see that some of these slugs do perform extremely well. So let's go ahead and look at the test. One note about this test, when you're looking at the screen, the slugs are gonna be coming from left to right. That's only because when I was filming it, I could not get the column to be perfectly aligned in the middle of the screen. So I made it sideways so you can actually see the entire path of it. So again, let's jump into the testing. Starting out here with the Winchester Super X 2.5 inch shell, 1 5th ounce slug. This one dropped pretty well. I mean, it about 3 quarters of the way down, it did a little bit of a waggle, and then it ended up about a half an inch off center on the bottom. The Brennicky with that power piston dropped perfectly straight down to the bottom and only fell over after it completely stopped. That one did really well. The American Tactical 2.5 inch quarter ounce didn't do too bad. It fell mostly straight. It just deviated again about a quarter of an inch off the center, but otherwise it fell pretty straight. The Remington 2.5 inch shell 1 5th ounce did a huge waggle. As soon as it hit the water, it turned sideways, partially waggled, and then just about straightened out and then went in the other direction. So it kind of did a wigwag thing in both directions. The Federal 2.5 inch quarter ounce slug was actually very crazy. Three quarters of the way down, it flipped sideways and almost turned completely around. That's why you saw the air bubbles fall out of it when it was coming down. So let's take another look at that where the air bubbles fell out of it. Again, here you can see turned sideways, actually turned backwards where all the bubbles fell out of it. And then when it hit the bottom, it was tumbling and it bounced. The Sterling, as soon as it entered into the water, it turned sideways and it slid down the whole back of the canister on its side, and then it hit the bottom on its side. So that one did really terribly, even though it had those really cool flutes. 
The herders did not do much better. As soon as it entered the water, it waggled back and forth. By the time it hit the bottom, it was dragging down the side. And then when it hit the bottom, it flipped over a couple of times and landed on its side. So again, not great. The AGC ammo, basically as soon as it entered, hit the side on the back and skittered down the side, dragging all the way down. And when it hit the bottom, it flipped on its side. The Winchester Super X 3 inch went in almost perfectly straight all the way to the bottom. About three quarters of the way down, it turned a little bit and it missed the center by about a quarter of an inch. The BPS Red, as soon as it hit the water, started tracking sideways. And you can see when it hit the bottom, it was already tracking sideways and it kind of skittered all the way across the bottom, flipping over a couple of times before coming to rest. And then last but not least, the BPS Green Slug did about the same. As soon as it hit the water, it turned sideways. It did a crazy waggle. And by the time it hit the bottom, it was almost completely sideways. So at least you can kind of see why the two BPS slugs were doing so terribly in the shooting test because they both go sideways as soon as they enter the water or the air.